Hi there, Sandy Freshy here back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are talking about the Gate 28, known in the I Ching as the preponderance of the great. It's also the gate of the game player. And we're going to talk about this in the context of its place within the 3828 channel and then what the characteristics are uh, that the Gate 28 holds within the human design framework. So the gate 3828 channel is known as a channel of struggle and it is what defines the root center which is a center for adrenalized pressure and stress and the spleen center which is the center for instinct and intuition. The channel of struggle, the 3828, is also known as a channel of stubbornness or the design of stubbornness, rather. And it is a channel, if you have it defined in your chart, where you are putting out the theme or the energy into the world of struggling to find meaning in life. So there's a tenacity that comes with this channel of struggle. And what I've observed from people whose charts I've read from my clients and from friends who have this channel defined is that these are people who are not afraid to take the hard road when the hard road has meaning. One of my friends who has this channel defined actually has this mantra that she lives by and she says just because it's hard doesn't mean that it's not worth doing and that is kind of the motto for the 3828 channel when there is meaning to the struggle the energy of this 3828 can really uh, engage you in stubbornly struggling and stubbornly meeting the challenges or working with the challenges to uh, fight for that whatever is meaningful to you. The 3828 is part of the individual circuitry and the individual circuitry is about individuating. It's about making the mutations and the changes that allow us each to become our own sovereign individual expression. So if you have the 3828 defined in your chart, there's this drive from the root and awareness from the spleen to bring change and live as an individual. When you stay true to that, when your struggle to stay true to living as an individual is made manifest, then you empower the rest of us who maybe don't have this energy defined in our chart. We don't have consistent access to this energy. You empower us to make changes to live as our individual selves as well as our individual expression in the world. So if you have the gate 28 defined, you may see these characteristics within you, or if you know someone with the gate 28. The gate 28 is known as the gate of the game player. And the game player is about playing at the game of life. And you may notice that people with this gate 28 have sort of a, a gaming kind of an approach or a risk taking kind of an approach to their lives. And that's because they're running off of the intuition from the spleen to take risks, or in some cases to be a little bit risk averse, to take risks or not. There's a great amount of intuition and awareness that comes through this gate. And it's awareness about what is safe or not and what is uh, healthy or not. So the game that the game player is playing is about safety, health, and taking those risks again to individuate, to become the individual expression that a person is meant to be. The gate 28 also carries a fear frequency, and that fear frequency is about the fear of death. And specifically, it's about the fear of dying without finding the meaning in one's life. So if you or someone you know has a gate 28 without the gate 38 defined, there may be this struggle to find meaning in life. There may be this risk taking to find meaning in life, or there may be this risk aversion because of the fear of dying. And there may be the risk taking 
because the person is trying to find that meaning through meeting challenges and struggling uh, with things that are adverse so that they can feel some sort of meaning within their experience. So another characteristic is struggling for meaning. And without that meaning, which is really what the gate 38 is about, the fight for meaning, without those people or those influences that carry this gate 38 energy, uh, or without personally finding that meaning within yourself, uh, the person with the 28 hanging without the gate 38 may struggle just for the sake of struggling because they don't have or aren't tapped into meaning for themselves. So if you have this gate defined and you are using it towards something that doesn't have meaning for you, uh, something that isn't meaningful for you, then you may find that you're just struggling and in a constant state of challenge because you're trying to use that energy without it actually being directed toward the uh, correct things for you. And this is where strategy and authority can really come in to, to guide your direction, to guide your path toward the correct struggles and the correct games that you are here to play. So do you have the gate 28 or the 3828 channel defined in your chart? I'd love to know about your experience. Do you find that you struggle unnecessarily? Do you find that you're struggling for meaning or have you found the meaning in your life? Leave a comment down below about your experiences. And if you like this video, please like it by hitting the thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that you are notified of when I upload new videos. And if you know someone who can benefit, please, please share. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And until the next time, be well.